star. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Many guest appearances at the invitation of the likes of Sami Zayn and The Miz. Yeah, I kind of question the company that Logan Paul has chosen to keep. Set your DVR. Logan Paul is about to create another viral moment. Yeah, but will it be at Logan Paul's expense or his opponent's expense? Logan's opponent should be grateful for the exposure of just being able to stand next to Logan Paul. Well, stop fanboying, Corey. And his opponent from India, weighing in at 288 pounds, VR Man. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. This matchup is treacherous. Both competitors enter with no absence of malice. It's about inflicting maximum punishment. You have to create your own opportunity. Pinpoint a body part and exploit it. Everything is at a competitor's disposal. The lack of rules makes a superstar even more dangerous. Now, rolling neck snap. Yeah. Oh, well scouted by Paul. Boom, right in the button. Yeah. There's some power behind that punch. Again, great way to wear down your opponent. Off the top, Buckles. What's he gonna do? Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Tossed into the corner. Going up to the top. What are we gonna see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh my God. Logan Paul able to avoid impact. Oh, goodness, that looked bad. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. To stomp in every single part of his body. He gets back into the ring. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Quickly. Saw that one coming. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Right hook. Things are getting risky. 
This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. Forearm to the jaw. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Oh. Nice headlock applied. Look at this athleticism. Oh, that was pretty cool. Momentum is really on Paul's side. Paul's doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Right to the kidneys from behind. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Slam the door yet. Logan Paul showing no fear up there. Look at the high ball after a black hat. Crash landing. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Taking hold of Logan Paul. Look at that hold. There's no escape from the camel clutch. Logan Paul is done. Uh, this one's over. Tap out coming. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. The WWE Universe celebrating this match and the winner. With that win, they deserve the praise. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe.